Bow, 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 bow. All right, so last time we watched the spy, so I guess we'll watch Scalp. Yeah. Fair Scalp today. Real nice effort, Chucklehead. I don't think I saw that one coming. Ah! Damn old man, your head's up. I cannot see. Ah! Soldier, go. Ah! Damn it. Oh, what's up? I cannot move. Ah, uh, my head. Atta boy. Ah! Come to daddy. Ah! <laughs> Bang. I... That was a recreation of a 6v6 clip that shows just how insanely powerful Scout can be when he's in the right place at the right time, with the right place being behind you and the right time being whenever you're doing something else. Wait, isn't that kind of Spy's thing? What? Come to think of it, every quest in the game would perform better if their opponents were always turned away doing other things. Suck you, Scout. My job sucks! Okay, but Scout and Spy care the most about being behind their opponents, right? Especially because they both have the tools to get there. Spy, with his on-demand and visibility cloak and ability to disguise as the enemy team, and Scout, with his, uh, being really fast. What the? <laughs> I'm a freaking blur <laughs> He is speed, chat. He is speed. Don't go fast! But let me be clear, you shouldn't play the mid-fight this way. Seriously, don't do this. Yes, the clip is a little contrary to what I'm saying. Yes, I did kill three of them and single-handedly win the mid-fight, but please, try to ignore that. See, what I didn't show you is what it took to get there. At this point here, I'm forcing my team to fight 5v6 for at least 10 seconds, which might be how long the fight lasts. This clip is from the round right after the last clip, and you can see I'm a little nervous that they'll be ready for my cheesy flank this time. It is basically an insult to their intelligence for me to try this again and don't come wide with me you pain they knew they much. knew but you don't have to bait your team to get behind the enemy scout speed lets them take all sorts of aggressive routes and when you get your chance you wait as long as you can for the perfect stop this is it this is the moment if you play any scout at all this image is causing your brain to release dopamine you got him that demo's as good as dead <laughs> you carried this team fight what's that you want to shoot don't you there's no need. We all know you hit the shot. What? Just look at the crosshair. Its luscious curves are overflowing with his hitbox. It's screaming out that every pellet will connect. We can move on to the next scene. No? No! Fine. Then show us. Show us how it feels to play Scout. That's good. <laughs> that is dope for me right there. <laughs> we now return to your scheduled program. Scout can go for all sorts of super aggressive flanks using the alternate routes throughout the map. Like I always say, you're not out of position if you can kill the medic in two clean shots. <laughs> Wait, so say you're not out of position if you can kill the medic in two clean shots, die tragically while baiting his entire team for a stupid flank. But really, <laughs> there's nothing better than two-shotting the enemy medic and announcing mm -hmm. to your team, Yes, I got their med- Med down, med down. Med down. But I'm supposed to say that that's my line. I killed the medic. That was going to be like my one social interaction for the day. I'm kind of painting the wrong picture here though. You don't need to be behind people to be effective as Scout. In fact, he is without a Hop doubt one of the most powerful head-to-head -head combat classes in the game. In this clip, my team got pushed back to second, so I start capping middle to make space. This is the opposite of being sneaky. I am basically announcing... Attention blue team, I am on the middle point and prepared to engage in fisticuffs galore at your discretion. Ah, jeez. You would think that there's no way I get out of this one, but... Ah, you screwed up now! If you can't hit Scout, but he hits you, eventually, well, you look pretty dumb. And if Scout can kill you before he even touches the ground, well, those are tough beans. Looks like another close call for our hero with only- Oh, heck, another guy! How are you missing these shots? I only have two health! Oh my god, it's Jesus a Christ. Run, ladies and gentlemen. That's 
something that I love about being the ultimate life form. No matter how low my health is, I can still destroy my enemies. Farewell. I found you, Faker. Chaos Control! C wow! He's fast! I'll show you my true power. No way! How pathetic. The difference between a soldier with three health and the ultimate life form with three health is enormous. Scout can take that three health to the finish line, whereas slower classes are easy but I'll pickings. Pull I was the only huge. one who survived this team fight, but I'm used to being alone. It suits me. Whether it's three health or two hundred, I'm an unstoppable force. Huh? You're not even good enough to be my fake. All right. Maybe I'm just a pussy, cause like I I can't do that. Whenever I'm like below like fifty, I'm instantly like I need to find a medpack. Like I'm out of this fight. I'm out. Peace. Like my team's got this. <laughs> yeah, I respect that. <laughs> But the craziest thing is that Scout can often avoid these marginal situations thanks to one of the most powerful abilities in any multiplayer game. The ability to pick your fights. Hello, Scout! What? Come on, Good man! Good you what don't have time. <laughs> it shouldn't come as a surprise that Scout's most powerful trait is his speed, but it is surprising just how many ways a 33% increase in speed changes the way Scout interacts with the game. Why mama Why wasn't more fast? I can run around and be like, whoa, nope, that's not a good situation, then wait a second and say, just kidding, this is a great situation. Of course, I'm a little out of position in the enemy spawn, so I'm gonna have to rely on my speed to get me out of here. What? Come on, bro. Are you seeing this? One wrong move and I was toast. These were over here, and they were going this way like, Ow. and I was going this way, so we were crossing paths. So I would have died if I went straight, and I would have died if I went a little more to the left, and I would have died if I turned a little later, the point is, I survived. Then this guy's like, I found you! Fi okay, look, that, that joke's over. You're, you're done here. But my thirst for blood has only begun. I'm back in there lickety-split, running circles around them. I'm practically unstoppable at this point. Hit the bricks, pal, you're done! Alright, look, no one's perfect. Another benefit of picking your fights is that you can completely ignore classes you can't deal with. Here, I'm trying to be sneaky, Scott. but get spotted by their sniper right away. I know I shouldn't do it. I know I've been called Scott. out. Yes. 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 I know I'll get caught, but... <laughs> I don't care what they throw at me, even if it's time to run. Nice hustle, tons of fun. Next time, eat a salad. Oh, no. oh. You bleed an idiot! Manage! <sighs> don't die, old me! I'm bad! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Sometimes your only responsibility is to go fast. You may be a lean, mean, killing machine, but you win the game of TF2 by capturing the objective. And boy, are you equipped to capture that objective. Yeah, he's never going to talk about the fact that you, you like, class as two people. You guys always remind me to do this. I never play objective. I need to. I play scout. With your speedy little legs and double capture rate, you can single-handedly win some games on your own. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. My yeah. team! Yes. Fuck! And it's not uncommon that you're the only one that can save the game by reaching the objective. <laughs> Barely made it. <clears throat> I will not tolerate a single comment saying that I was not the difference maker there. In fact, I'm so petty that I did the math, which you can see here. Hey, if you want, you can download the video and check it yourself. Holy shit, he actually sat here and was like counting frames and fucking out units of distance. Holy shit. <laughs> You won't, God but damn. good. Let's get the show on the road. One more thing That's that your flex. speed does for you That's is allowing you to act as a punish class. Being a dangerous mobile threat gives you a large territory in which you can punish vulnerable classes that overextend, such as the medic or demo. Hey, you suck! What the hell did you just freaking say about me, you little bitch? Oh, I have no idea. Top my class in the Navy SEALs, and I've been involved in numerous secret raids in Al-Qaeda, and have over 300 confirmed enemy kills. The freaking dead, you know? It's very tempting to just rush in guns blazing whenever you see a lonely demo man, and it's usually a pretty easy kill. Unless they're a god, holy shit! Soldiers have a similar ability to cover a radius, but they have to fully commit with a rocket jump. While rocket jumping can be very flexible, sometimes it's just not. This point is mine! This matter is dead! Soldier! Oh. Damn it, scout is a holy! And if you listen closely, the entire world is your territory. Medic 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 Um... 
should I take off here? I'll be around the corner. He was that medic. The dispenser goes here. Oh, hey. And yeah, gotcha. Incoming. My oh, oh, no. Gun can buy an inch purse. I inquire. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. He's taken me. It seems like playing comp is a different game than the casual we've been doing. If she plays two in the objective. Yeah, a lot of this stuff I think is in comp, right? So maybe I should try that a bit more. It seems more like, like, like less chaotic and more like actual gameplay. My first ever five kill streak in a pub to trying my heart out in competitive leagues. Actually, that was the reason that I picked up TF2 in the first place. Something about running around with a shotgun and being a deadly annoyance seemed really novel at the time. Even though his gameplay can be boiled very down different. to just running and shooting, it honestly feels like the skill cap with this guy never ends. Scout is just fast enough to be in control of how much damage he takes, and his shotgun-based gameplay constantly rewards pinpoint accuracy. I actually could not write a long enough conclusion to uh, fill out the rest of this clip. It, it honestly, it's it just keeps going and oh my I god. Die. Uh, I was shaking off some rust in a 1v1 MGE server when who walks in but looking cute in my jammies. Long story short, this guy 20 0 to me. It was a nightmare. But you know what? He wasn't rude and he didn't leave in disgust. He politely stuck around and I improved by playing against him. Yeah, all right. oh, yeah. It was a great reminder of how high Scout's skill cap really is. So thanks, looking cute in my jammies. Thanks for showing me and everyone else how it feels to Look, man, couldn't you have just let me win one? <laughs> whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. First of all, like and subscribe if you enjoyed, please and thank you. And boom, Patreon. If you didn't already know, Patreon is a way for you to support me every time I upload new content. I have to be totally honest with you guys. I need your support on Patreon to continue putting this much effort into my videos. There's a ton of rewards available depending on how much you pledge. And I okay. hope that rewards like patron-only streams and Discord chats will help me get to know some of you better. <clears throat> Just a quick note, I've set the payments to be per video rather than per month because... Uh... Oh god... No! Three years ago, to holy shit. One high effort video and one medium effort variety video a month. So oh shit, Jay, he's playing Overwatch! You guys give me so much shit. Lazy Purple's playing Overwatch. It has a very small comp community, but it does exist. I think I need to put my foot in the door. Play Overwatch, chat! You're pledged to only activate once a month if that's what suits you. And that's it. Here's some fan art from my Discord server that I really appreciate. Uh, please join my Discord, follow my Twitter, and have a great day. Yeah, that was a good video. That was a really good video. Yeah, I say we dabble in comp next time, right? Like, see how we do. I'm guessing you can you can't use like all the custom stuff. It's just like your base scout and like base characters. Like, if I played scout, would I only better use the default gun? So I couldn't use like the short stop or anything. It would just be basic stuff. That that would be really interesting. I might scratch that, like, Overwatch comp itch.